Okay, let's look at Pantheon Rise of the Fall. And this is another game that I wanted to see. Uh, a lot of people think this game is going to be amazing. Pantheon Rise of the Fallen. Did I did I look at this game? Uh, let's see here. Um, pretty alpha gameplay. Okay, oh, it's the same guy. Okay, let's just look at this. Okay. It was about as EQ as you can get. And no, that's not some... Yeah, especially in terms of graphics. Hip slang, at least I think. I'm not sure what you kids are jiving with nowadays. No, Pantheon Rise of the Fallen is an upcoming indie MMO that aims to take you back to the days of EverQuest 1. In graphics and also gameplay, apparently. From the gameplay, the systems, everything down to the sound effects. Oh, God, that noise still makes me want to... Family show! Buzzkill. Anyway, the game is still in pre-alpha. However, the devs were nice enough to let me join them on a dungeon run through Black Rose Keep. It was... Okay. Well, frankly, it was a lot of fun, even though we died a few times. Um, I'm not going to spend this video talking about all the features of Pantheon, as I haven't gotten to experience them. I'll save okay. that more full-featured video for when I get a more full-featured... Starting off, it's EverQuest 1. Pretty simple, really. If you played EQ1 back in the day, so much of this is going to look familiar, though about a billion times better visually. In fact, I dare say Panthe... I'd say only about two to three times better visually, but okay. Theon looks really good. Especially that Brad McQuaid. It doesn't, hey, like, it, it doesn't look good. Like, this doesn't look good. The, the graphics do not look good. This does, this does not look good. This looks like it came out of 2003. Like, this is not good. Oblivion has better graphics than this. Who thinks that this is good? Like, I... I, I, I don't understand. How can you possibly think this is good? That's the point. Well, casting weak and strong heals, and then some faster casting okay. but less mana efficient weak and strong heals. Okay. Are, oh, sh moments of which there were a few i must say throughout the stream i had a few clutch heals yep i'm pretty proud of myself next up was a shielding spell that absorbed some okay. damage and the next so these are buffs. spells one that increased your armor class and another that increased both your armor class and your max very much a group centric game okay. while i'm told solo play will still be possible you're gonna want to group up with your fellow adventurers for a better experience okay. with that in mind each class in the game has their role to play our group consisted of two warriors a rogue an enchanter a shaman and myself the cleric enchanter's the warriors probably just acted as main tank and off tank the rogue and enchanter were there for dps and crowd control the shaman was for off heals and DPS. This game looks like if uh, if WoW took out every single ability and the only thing that you could do was auto attack. And I was main heals, but with some DPS thrown in there because I felt like it. Wow. Bam! Healer deeps for the win! I think I hit for like two. Combat in general felt a bit more strategic than other MMOs I've played lately. The mobs we were fighting were lower level than us, which you can tell by using the consideration system. Remember that? dubiously without eq1's consideration system i would have failed high school english but even these weak enemies took us quite a bit of time to get down and once you get into the higher level enemies things become considerably harder <laughs> or should i say dubiously harder <laughs> i do not think that word means what you think it means shut up anigo while making our way into the dungeon we had to be careful of our pulls because trains are a thing hit the wrong enemy and we could have ended up with the whole room on us and while okay. a few extra enemies may not seem like a big deal what with these newfangled mmos having you kill dozens of enemies at the same time in pantheon it means death if you're not careful wipes will happen often and quickly as in seconds one second you're fine and everyone's happy and having a great time and the next you're dead and then it's time for the corpse run although this was a time limited stream so we got to use dev powers and just teleport back but yeah nice very much like an old school affair. okay where's the boss it was more about being on top of things and strategic in your skill use and mana consumption the mini boss herself was a somewhat difficult fight with okay, strong aoe see. spells coming down that made me do a lot of healing and I also had to spend some time regaining mana during the battle. Oh yeah, I okay. almost forgot. Like some other older MMOs, you'll need to sit to regain mana faster. Though if you're in combat, you'll actually stand and pray, allowing you to regain mana, just not as fast as sitting. Stand anyway, we pray. did manage to down the mini-boss, and that was our goal for the stream. I don't believe it had been done before on stream, and I was the first one to do it. I have represent... <coughs> Overall, this was super nostalgic. I felt like I was back in 19... 
speed or racing to the finish of a dungeon where everyone just plays in silence. Instead, you're gonna need to sit and communicate, and as a side effect, you'll get to know your fellow players. Frankly, it may not be for everyone, but for an old guy like me, it's a nice throwback to a simpler time. A time when I was young and just in love with MMOs. I was also a lot thinner and better looking. <sighs> Excuse me, I got something in my eye. Okay, so um, l let's talk about that. So here's uh, here's basically what's going on here. Um, the 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 last part is good. I I think that's great. Like obviously that's what I that's what I want about WoW too. The problem with Pantheon. It, like one thing that Blizzard does really well, and I think that almost most people probably will not be able to refute this, is it has very, very fluid gameplay. Uh, if you look at Diablo compared to Path of Exile, Diablo is better in one way, and it has more fluid and more uh, satisfactory gameplay and combat. Um, even though the game sucks, it has much better combat and gameplay. This game does not have it does not have good gameplay. Uh, and I understand that they say it's a, um, uh, I've just been going through, well, my dude, love advice. Uh, new mic. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate that. Railer, Kamasami, thank you for the reset. Stand and pray. This game gets deleted. <laughs> uh, slap my titties. Thank you very much, Poon Tang. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Um, well, here, here's the way that I look at it, right? Um, let's see. Uh, just a second. Maybe I should ban that kid. Uh, where the fuck is he? There we go. All right. We banned him. Okay. Uh, anyway, so, Here's the problem with this game, right? There are a lot of good things about the game. Like the um, the philosophy behind the game, I think, is great. The implementation of the philosophy, I think, is bad. And the game itself is bad. You can't have a good game with a bad philosophy. And a, a good game with a bad philosophy is like Diablo 3. And a, um, a, a bad game with a good philosophy is kind of like Path of Exile. Like, I, I feel like the actual gameplay is very mediocre in Path of Exile. I don't like it. And it's the same with this. Even though they have a very good idea behind the game, uh, if they can't make that look better than this, nobody's going to want to play it. And I'm not saying that graphics have to be great, but they have to at least be better than Oblivion. And this is not even better than Oblivion. This is terrible. Uh, Bevere is not a bad game. What the fuck are you on about? I didn't say that. I said the combat in Path of Exile, I don't like. The combat is bad. I, I feel like that. Everybody that I've talked to has told me the same thing. That doesn't mean that I think the game is bad overall. I think the game play is bad. Um, so this is... Um, the game is not... I, I would not really look forward to this. Um, if, the, if the main claim of the game is it's supposed to, uh, is it, it's supposed to appeal to nostalgia then that's probably all it's going to do. It's going to remind you of whenever you wanted to play a game like this and whenever games like this were good, and then you'll remember that they're not anymore because this is what you're playing. Uh, there is a lot that this game has to improve on. The combat is awful. The graphics are terrible. Um, th those are the two main things that are important, right? Combat and graphics. Uh, p graphics are not as important, but combat and gameplay in itself is the most important part of the game. Okay. Uh, that, that's all I'm really trying to say. Uh, people are still buying the it's pre-alpha excuse. Well, see, here's the thing, right? Uh, is it pre-alpha? Um, first comes power parts, second rush to $5. I don't really know what the hell is that. What is that? I, I'm just going to, I think that I need to ban you for that because it, it's like a, a weird thing. Sorry. Um, let me go ahead and report you. And yes. Okay. All right. We're good. Uh, sorry about that, guys. So BFA combat. Well, See, here's the thing. I, I looked at uh, I, I looked at the other games too, right? I did. Uh, banned donation. Yeah, I, I banned them. It's not. Be oh, it's a dick. Oh, those are my favorite. I have to ban those. That's too bad. So, um, listen. Here's the way I look at it. Okay, let me just go back to this. Um, let's talk. I, I want to just. I'm gonna do another run, and I'll talk about it. Okay. So let's look at the positives. Let's look at the negatives. Like, what do you got? Like, actually, you know what? I've been talking a lot. Let me ask you guys. What do you think? What do you think about the uh, what we've seen so far? Uh, what are your impressions? Trash, it's shit. Um, you're bald. Yeah, I, I mean, like, if you compare it even to WoW's graphics, right? This dungeon was made in 2004. And the graphics on here, I, I think, are probably better than the graphics that we saw in Pantheon. 
right? And this dungeon actually was made in 2003 because it was probably developed before the release, right? So actually, no, Dire Mall came out later on. Well, either way, it, it came out over 10 years ago. And I would say this dungeon is probably, it, at least I, I think it looks better, okay? Uh, it looks a lot better. Lost Ark. Oh, I don't want to go over everything, okay? It looks like a dump. <laughs> I didn't say it looked great. I said it looked better. Uh, I, I didn't say it looked great. Relax, man. Uh, good potential, but not good. Well, I, I like the ideology, okay? I, I really like that. I just don't think it's going to go anywhere. Um, th that's basically the way that I feel about it. Have you seen Dauntless? It's coming to open beta. See, here's the thing, right? Is I... Here's what I expect out of MMOs. Nothing. And I'm never disappointed. Because if you expect anything beyond that, you're going to be disappointed. There are so many MMOs nowadays that are fucking terrible. Why do you think WoW is so popular? Well, there's a lot of reasons why I think WoW is popular. One of the big reasons why I think WoW is popular is it's uh, it, it built on a franchise that was uh, out for over 10 years, right? It built on the hype of Warcraft 3, uh, Warcraft 2 even was a popular game. Um, on top of that, you know, Frozen Throne, etc. Uh, also, the gameplay was uh, was just better than the other games out there. Like the the gameplay was just it was more fluid. It was more responsive. It was more understandable. It was just a very very good combat system. And uh, again, that's one thing that Blizzard does very well. Overwatch does the same thing. E even Heroes, I think, is very responsive. Right. Um, so the graphics last longer. And most of focus on insane good realistic graphics fail quickly. Well, I, I think it depends, right? I mean, there are some games that like had really good graphics back then and still have good graphics. Like I, I think that like, for example, um, like Witcher 3, like people still look at Witcher 3 like uh, a good amount of time from now and still think it's a good game, right? And that's good graphics. Check out Cabal Online, please. Well, I, I don't want to look at every single person's pet garbage MMO, okay? Like uh, these were just a couple of the ones that a lot of people have wanted to see. And uh, I figured I'd uh, I'd look at on stream and give a review of, okay? Witcher 3 MMO. Well, I mean, a Witcher MMO, like, the thing is, like, it, it would be awesome if, like, a lot more of those other games had, like, MMO aspects, but I don't really think that's something that we can look forward to. Uh, Ashes of Creation. Uh, it's basically the same thing as Pantheon. Like, Ashes of Creation and Pantheon are pretty much just, like, the same game. Uh, I, I, I know that they're not exactly the same game. But they're pretty fucking close, and, and they look the same. I don't like any other game besides WoW. Well, no, I, I see. Here's the thing, right? Is like if I, there are a lot of reasons why I think Pantheon is is bad, right? There are a lot of reasons I think WoW is bad too. But WoW is better than Pantheon. Uh, it's obvious that it's better. Now, WoW has also been out for ten years, and Pantheon is is not even an alpha. That being said, like th they said before, I think that their combat system was a placeholder. That just does anybody buy that? I mean, really, does anybody buy that? That their combat system is a placeholder? Give me a fucking break. The combat system is a placeholder? Come the fuck on. Like, what do you think? It's going to be like this amazing, like, fucking graphics by the time it comes out? No, it's just going to be trash. Like, maybe some of the abilities uh, aren't finished, but that's about it. What about Camelot Unchained? I don't know. I haven't really looked a lot of those other games. I know a lot of people like Dark Age of Camelot. Uh, do you think WoW would be successful if it was released today? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I, I do. Uh, especially if they re-release Vanilla, right? I mean, there's a lot of people that like games like that. And uh, they don't want to have, like, pay-to-win features. Like, I don't know. Does Pantheon have, like, pay-to-win features? BFA's Combat's a placeholder? But what worries me is I think it's not. Uh, yes and no. Okay, let me look it up. Pantheon, Rise of the Fallen, P2W, pay to win. Let me see what people say. Pay to win and customer support. They're not going to put in a cash shop. Okay, that's what they're saying right now is they're not going to pay to win. Okay, well, that's good. Let's see. Uh, pledge. Okay. So this is from their website here. And uh, let's see. So this is pledges, supporter pro pledges, champion pledges, VIP pledges, full game, Exclusive VIP forum access. Oh, that that's great for the game. We pay money and, and you just talk about the game. Uh, let's see, already pledge, upgrade more. Okay, keeper's pledge, beta access, stack of minor illusion flasks. Uh, explorer's backpack, tune of the kid of the ages, keepsake vanity pet. So... 
This seems like this is a ten thousand dollar pledge. Yeah, I I don't even know what to say about that. Um I hope they just take your money and then it's actually not a pledge to the game. They actually just give you a uh, it's like a um a retainer for a uh um uh therapy. Yeah, or some sort of like a psychiatrist, retainer for a psychiatrist for the person instead. Um anyway, yeah, obviously like so they are giving out items in here, right? In-game item, in-game item, in-game item, stack of illusion flasks. That's not a big deal, but it's still in-game item. So even in this game, you're getting something. And um, I, I think that's better than like having a cash shop. Yeah, but there's still things that you get for giving them money, right? Uh, have you seen the prices of ships in Star Citizen? No, I haven't. Uh, not at all. Alex Central pledged five hundred dollars. <clears throat> yeah, I wouldn't have done that. Um, yeah, I, I would not have done that. Um, yeah, I, I know Alex is a big supporter of like Pantheon. Uh, I I don't. I I I don't think it's gonna be that great. I I really don't. Like I think it's good for WoW to have competition, but I, I'm not really expecting Pantheon to be that good. 